Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book, number 503. 503, see us, Lord, about your altar. See us, Lord, about your altar, though so many we are one. Many souls by love united in the heart of Christ, your Son. Hear our prayers, O loving Father, hear in them your Son, our Lord. Hear him speak our love and worship as we sing with one accord. Once were seen the blood and water, now is seen but bread and wine. Once in human form he suffered, now his form is but a sign. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. On this feast of Saint Monica, we ask her intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Olivia Azevedo and Tony Coalillo, for the times we have not been faithful in our prayer life, for the times where we have turned away from God, We bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for God is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are happy to die on the cross to free us from our sin. Christ, have mercy. You alone have the words of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. As to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, We beg you, brothers and sisters, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by spirit or by word or by letter, as though from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord is already here. Let no one deceive you in any way. For this purpose he called you, through our proclamation of the good news, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, Stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, the Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. 
He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Word of God is living and active. It probes the thoughts and motives of our hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you tithe mint, dill, and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides! You strain out a gnat but swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you clean the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup so that the outside also might become clean. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Saint Monica, patron of mothers. Saint Monica has so much to teach us, especially the gift of persevering in faith. She is a woman who persevered even though she saw no change in her son for over 18 years. Womanizer, he liked his drink, far from God. But yet Saint Monica understood the power of prayer and be it God's will, change would come. 18 years, a long time. Long time! I used to say that was half my life, but now I'm just a little bit over that. But the reality is, she never stopped praying. Now, her prayer, of course, was for the conversion of her son, which was not only her son, but her husband on his deathbed, and probably many others that we may be unaware of. The reality is, many of us have to do the same thing. We have spouses, children, grandchildren, parents, people who we know who have fallen away from faith. St. Monica teaches us how important it is, not just as a mother, although it's beautiful in that role, and that's why one of the uh, patronages that have been given to her is all mothers. But the reality is I'm not a mother, but I love St. Monica because she has so much to teach us. And had it not been for her prayer, who knows whether St. Augustine would ever come to see God. Who knows what would have happened to her husband? And the same thing is for our prayers, too. If you stop praying, you may think, well, I'm just one person. Well, my prayers are insignificant. St. Monica would say, no, actually, prayer is very, very, very important. And we should never underestimate the prayer of one person. However, when we pray as a collective, we are so much stronger, and Jesus teaches this throughout the Gospels of the importance of praying for each other and praying together. That's why he gathered his apostles many times and taught them to pray, not just so that they know how to pray, but the importance of praying as a community. That's why this parish is what it is. The parish family of St. Joseph is not a place for you and I just to come worship God and go back to our lives. This parish is formed so that we gather as community, called by God as individuals into the collective, into the communion of saints, where we tap into the power of God. Those in heaven, those in purgatory, and us here on earth, we are united in Christ Jesus. So when you know somebody who is wavering in faith, when you know somebody who perhaps has given up in their prayer because they haven't seen the results. Maybe that's you. Maybe it's someone you know. May the intercession and the witness of St. Monica inspire us to keep praying, 
Oh, Father, it's been longer than 18 years for me. Keep praying. You may not see the results with your eyes, but one day when we go to Jesus, he's going to show us what our prayers did. And if we stop praying, the negative effects of what would have happened, because sometimes we just see this and think, oh, what's the point? That's what the devil wants us to do, to stop praying. But St. Monica, who's far less important than the Lord, of course, would say, never stop praying. So her witness is inspiring for us. Tomorrow, of course, we have her son, who is a doctor of the church, and we all celebrate St. Augustine. Some of us like studying St. Augustine, like Father Michael, more than yours truly. But nonetheless, he has so much to teach us, too. But we wouldn't have had Augustine if we didn't have the prayers of his mama. So let's keep praying. Let's pray for the conversion of those we love and those we're called to love. But let's just pray in general. For indeed, God hears those who have contrite hearts, those who trust in him, and those who often seek the best interest of others. Turning now to God our Father, we bring to him prayer and petition, trusting in a God who always has our best interest in mind. A response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our, the Holy Church of God, that the Holy Spirit may encourage our hearts and strengthen us in every good deed and word. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer for local civic authorities. May the Lord help them in promoting the common good with respect and dignity for every human person. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who have stopped praying, that through the intercession of St. Monica, they may continue their daily dialogue with God and tap into the power of prayer each day. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are discouraged, for they don't see the results of prayer, those who are doubting, those who question the presence of God in their midst, that they, like St. Monica, may continue to pray regardless of the results. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are underemployed or unemployed, may God raise up people and opportunities to provide adequate support for them and their families. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our assembly here at St. Joseph, by virtue of our baptism and strengthened by Jesus in the Eucharist, may the calling of Christ echo in our hearts and give clarity to our actions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Olivia and Tony, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon see the face of God and abide forever with him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts, Good and gracious God, we bring you our prayers and ask that you grant them according to your will. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. St. Monica, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God, God. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
Amen. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate St. Monica, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you bid your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, her Pope, and Gerard Virgin, her Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Tony and Olivia, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one of the ministers of Russia. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of St. Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Say, Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Wheat and grape contain the meaning, food and drink he is to all. One in him we come adoring, gathered by his loving call. Hear us yet, so much is needful in our frail disordered life. Stay with us and tend our weakness till that day of no more strife. Members of his mystic body, now we know our prayer is heard. Heard by you because your children have received the eternal word. God bless you. Have a good day.